to political insights. This is another time to discuss politics and everything in between. My name is Bena Hionofe, and with me in the studio is Apostle Kasi Chuku, founder and senior pastor of Panel of God's Power International Ministries. Good day, sir. It's good to have you here. How are you doing? My pleasure. I'm fine. I'm doing great. <laughs> and how are you doing? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. But once again, good to have you on the show. So today we're talking about the state of the nation post independence and with everything happening in the political space what are your thoughts exactly well if i have to speak about the independent uh, i can assure you that uh, on saturday nobody no even nigeria was celebrating independent you can see the youth have taken over political era now everybody is clamoring for the obedient family Saint Peter Obi. Did you say everybody? Yes, I can. I can as well tell you. Any Nigeria who is not supporting Peter Obi should be one of the people who are destroying this country. Well, you know they say freedom of association. Hence, different views, different um, candidate in terms of preference. So, would you say because they don't support Peter Obi, they are one of the persons? In, in the in the political era we are now. You, you you should not dare it because the two political major political parties has failed us. You should not just dare it. You will kill the rot of the ancestors, the rot of the youth, the rot of every meaning Nigerian. Because everybody has seen them. They have seen the best they have for us. I still say, I still maintain my word. Anybody who is clamoring for APC, PDP say is freedom of association, freedom of vote, freedom of that. Is either that person is benefiting from any of those political parties. Everybody can feel the impact of the damage they have brought upon this nation. Well, I'm sure there are certain preference, but not to delve on, dwell on that. I talked about post-independence, yes, post-independence day celebration. Many persons are like, oh, there are different factors constituting the seeming, should I, I don't want to say failures or but the seeming um, things that are caused unhappiness on the minds or on the hearts of various persons. Would you say leadership is the biggest problem bedeviling the nation? Yeah, leadership, the biggest problem. It's just the biggest problem. What if there are other factors or it could even be things that are not even pertaining to the APC government as we didn't need to say failures <laughs> When the head is bad, what do you expect from the body? Let's start from the head, which is the political leaders. If they have provided everything they promised, not even everything, let them provide 10% of what they have promised Nigerians. We can start from there. <laughs> so you can't shift the blame to anybody because if anybody is doing anything now, it's as a result of what our leaders have incited into them. So this Obidati movement apparently it seems like you are rooting for the Labour Party presidential candidate. Am I correct? No, very, very much correct. <laughs> okay, very good. Before I ask <laughs> why you are rooting for this candidate, then the Obidati movement is not just a nationwide movement. Of course, persons in diaspora they are rooting for this person. First of all. Do you, did you even expect at any point in time that we were to expect such, this massive movement from different um, aspects, from different look and crisis of this nation, or different persons of tribe, religion, and what have you? Yeah, I, I, I knew something was going to happen, but I never knew it was going to come in this form. Okay. You know, when the, 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 the massacre of Tegi, uh, uh, Lucky to get happen, and I saw that youth continue going to that place to protest. And the Nigerian government, or whosoever who is in power, continue to brutalize them, arrest them. I did a video when they went viral telling the youth, Go back home, let's wait for them in 2023. And we are back, we are back. Yes, <laughs> okay. why are you waiting for this candidate? Yeah, the, 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 now this was what attracted me. Okay. You know, I was not even looking at PDP, APC, or Labour Party. You know, I just saw a letter that Peter Obi withdraw from 
uh, PDP. I wanted to know why. And he made a statement that captured my heart. He said, the kind of money I have to spend to win it. He said, I don't have that kind of money. He said, because I am not going there to loot Nigerians, I'm going there to work for Nigeria. So I am quitting. I'm not having issue with them, but I don't have that kind of money to spend to win primary. That alone, I said, wow. Do we still have leaders like this? I said, anywhere this man go to, even though the man come to DP or SDP, any political party that's not popular, I will make sure that political party is popular. So with that statement, hello. And you think he will deliver based on this? Yes, he will deliver. You know, I, I love Nigerians. You don't mess up with them. We we'll watch you. If we we'll give you our support, we see you don't appreciate it. We we'll wait for you in the next four, eight years. We'll reply you. And what you are seeing happening now is as a result of our leaders taking Nigerians for granted. So it is time for us to reply them. They say we are lazy youth. We are replying them now. But what's the possibility of overthrowing these two giants that have been in the political space for a long time, gaining and controlling power at different times? I would prefer you say former political giants. But if you <laughs> want, before the Labour Party came into, when you talk about APC, PDP, then you mentioned Labour Party. They've been there, of course, they've been there as a party. But in terms of it being major, because yes, in a democratic system of government, we operate to this multi-party system, but it's almost like that is on face level. But then we had the APC and the PDP as two major political parties in Nigeria. So what's the possibility of overthrowing them? <laughs> okay, have you been on the internet recently? I have, but you know when we talk about all the Peter Obi movement is just on social media. So I would prefer. And then they said, okay, yes, you are the structure. There's a lot of person, but I think with different persons of political class, they feel that it is above the movement. There are other things to consider. That's why I told you. I said you can address them as former. Okay. Not former. now. Because right now, Obidati has taken over. All right. The whole street everywhere in Nigeria. And I can show you if what is happening now continues. I don't think any political party will get 2,000 votes in the coming election. Just because of the massive turnout for rallies? It's not it's because of the massive turnout. Even the Northerners, All right. where they are putting their hope. Do you know how many people die on a daily basis? People die in the North. People are being kidnapped. They have driven farmers away. The Northerners suffered more than us. So if you want to know people who have suffered in this political era, go and ask the Northerners. They will tell you. If they are sincere to themselves, that's why I said to you, anybody who is see clamoring for these people, they are benefiting from them. Apart from them benefiting, let's talk from an empirical analysis perspective. You see, the persons you just mentioned, they will tell you that, yes, they have Atiku, who is that person, from the north, they have um, Shetima being vice to um, Bola Ametunu, presidential candidate of the APC. They feel beyond them suffering, being, should I say, suffering more from the insecurity that is happening in this country. They still believe that religion and ethnicity should be one of the key factors when they go choose a political or rather the next president of this nation. Well, there are, there are manners of approach coming into uh, uh, this political era at a time like this was not welcomed by the youth because there was a time the, the common man was brutalized. No of them speak up. No of them came out to defend. And as I speak to you now, no of these two political parties have been able to look at the present uh, 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 president and say to them, you have not led us well. One of the political parties said, I'm going to continue from where? His principal stop. Stop. So that, that shows danger already. We need somebody who confront. See, look at the life of uh, uh, Nessin Wiki. He confronts these people one on one. He tells them you're not doing anything. Okay, you mentioned something, not just something, person, somebody that right now is one of the most talked about persons in Nigeria, in person of his excellency, Governor Yeson Bike. We want to go on a short break because when we come back, we are going to discuss more on that. So if Yeson Bike happened to be 
the candidate or the presidential candidate of the PDP, would you have pitched your tent to the Peter Obi movement? But first of that, right now we to go on the show, but when we come back, he is going to give us more rambling information on that. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. From the question I asked you, would you have pitched your tent? Because more like seeing, oh yes, Peter will be a new revolution and everything, just because it seemed like oh they could not or people cannot support Atiko or Tinubu. But if yes or Mike was in that position as a presidential candidate for the PDP, would you even have considered Peter Obi? Yeah, I I think if uh Mike was to run as a presidential candidate for PDP, I could have assured you it could have not been easy because uh, I'm a very straightforward person. I will still go for Peter Obi because the anger is already in our spirit for that political party, PDP, APC. We don't just want to hear anything about them. It's so annoying. The time we come, mark this. If you campaign under this political party, the street will mess you up. It will beat you out of there to go and call your leader who sent you here. You shouldn't be so violent. <laughs> you not get to that No, he's getting to that violent place. Do you know that people died in Lekki Togate, October 20, 20, 20, 20. Died. And he just looked as if it was a foul that died. Nobody saying anything about it. We expect the people, the opposition party, which is PDP, to have taken that upon themselves and say, why are you killing these people? If PDP have done the right thing, by now we will be saying, no matter what it takes, we need PDP. But all of them kept quiet just to come from Dubai with some dollars of Naira. And so you sit down there and say, you want to rule us, give us a better country. Who is ruling us? The man in, in APC controls everything in Lagos. Would you say he controls everything? Because when you talk about um, Tinobu, talk about APC members and persons not from the APC, always saying that um, Tinobu made Lagos. Let's leave our sentimental belief or from the Peter Obi and everything he represents. Do you think that in some regards that Tinobu has something different to offer from what President Muhammad Buhari brought to the table in his eight years? He does not have one thing to offer. Like I said, look at his logo, Emilio Kong. It is my tongue. How? It, it doesn't matter what you believe. He just said, it's my tongue. Whether you are voting me, you are not voting me, it is my tongue. That kind of approach he came with during uh, a those state governorship election. You came with sort of a manner of approach like, it's my tongue. As if Nigeria is your own personal property. So we we'll kicked you out. Look at PDP. The man who is contesting as their candidate is the one in charge of importation of generator. So how do you do you want that business to die when it comes into power? He will make sure there is no light in this country. We all know their capacity. We know their ability. So we know that want to try something different yes something new we have been studying these people for the past 20 something years we have been looking at them so let's talk about the follow-up yes we cannot deny what is happening currently millions of persons in different states turning up for the obidati movement but what are the procedures or steps taken to ensure that these numbers of persons 
coming out for the movement will equal to the number of votes coming 2023 election. Thank you. During uh, during the registration of voters card, I want to see surprising. Do you know that people took it upon themselves? They go to INEC office to register people because INEC wanted, never wanted to come out. If you ask them, they say, no, we don't have this. No uh, light to charge this. No this to do this. No this to do. Oh, is it light? We'll give you a generator. We make sure people came out. If you go through it, you see that the people who registered this year, there was nothing like that in history. Yes. They broke the record. I want to assure you that many, a lot of people went into INEC office or whatsoever registration center to get their PVC because they want to kick out this wicked government. But there have been reports that many persons, yes, they will register, but they will not go as far as to get this PVC. It is not like just talking or coming out because there's more like this mirror behavior whereby you see persons jumping out or you want to just be brother movement. For coming 2023 election, there are many persons that will still tell you, I support Peter Obio, but I would prefer to stay at home that day. Uh, uh, yeah, there are people who will do that, but I can assure you that it will not be up to 10%. No, up to 10%. Yes, I will see that. How sure are you? Yeah, because uh, if you watch, you know that uh, there are some manipulation that want to come in, I neck not releasing a uh, voter's car. But that will not go down where? If they try it, it will not go down where the youth will react over that. They said the INEC want to stay abroad and be talking to us. When we get to the office, we don't see our PVC. Oh God, uh, I can't tell. You know what the youth can do. So no story over that. But we are going to make sure we create awareness to those who have not collected their PVC. Go now and collect your PVC. Your PVC is your power. You said something, awareness. Let me pick that word. It's a very key word because there is this elephant in the room in terms of stomach infrastructure in every election or before every election the campaign period there's this money politics whereby it's like the highest bidder oh vote for this person we are going to give you 5k you cannot rule out money in terms of the campaign period in terms of reaching out to people are you sure that your awareness tactic will play a pivotal role in ensuring enough votes and many persons will not just sell their votes to other parties and what have you. Do you think if I am in the polling unit and a party walked to me and said, take 50,000 and vote for my party, I will not take You have the conviction for other persons. I will take ready. it. What? I will take the money. Okay. It's my money. And I will vote the party I want to vote for. You know there is this follow-up whereby they want to ensure that you are voting for... Then the if you are not giving me the money, you can't follow me to that place. You, you don't have any right. It's a private place. We tell people, if they give you money, collect the money. It is your money. Go there and vote yourself. You didn't see what happened in those states. They brought money. People collected the money. Tell us more about that. Good. You saw Bulu Van enter those states. Few days to election. Just to make sure God will not pass will not win the election. And when the information reached us, we told everybody, collect the money and vote for who you want to vote for. Today, Governor Obaseki is still the governor of Edo State. We are wiser than that now. They should plan something different. Maybe they should give us a house. Yes, just they should just say, you see this house? We have already written your name. You see this car? Your name? You see this visa? You can use it to go to abroad. I think that is the next time they should use it to work for them. If it have to do with money, Nigeria, if anybody shares money that day, if the person lived there with that money, you should go and thank God. Because the strategy, anybody you see trying to buy the conscience of voters, collect the money, beat the person, collect the money from the person, and send the person out of that place. The Bible said, right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. 2023 election, we are taking it by force. Okay, taking it by force, but not through violence, you know, physical means. The, 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 we are not going to come with God. Our voters' card will use it to take it by force. If you give us money, we will take it. If you are giving us condition that you want to walk to boot or tell us to go and snap it while we are coming, you will give it to us. We will tell you, we will snap money and give you. But we see vote one, one, vote. You said so many things in this show, but you know, let's see in the APC, they have they are flying the mostly Muslim tickets. 
in the PDP, of course, Christian, Muslim, and then Labour Party, Christian, Muslim. There are other parties, but I want to just narrow it down to this. I want to say major because they have a lot of supporter base amongst these parties. But can we still rule out that? Yes, the, P the Peter Obi movement, they are vying towards winning the election. But don't you think there is this Achilles heel? There is this possibility that you people may not win? You know that many persons, many visionaries see politics, elections and what have you to be the means to an end and not just the end of things. What happens if you don't win? If the Peter Obi movement do not win? Anybody who just begin to think Peter Obi will not win, that person have a mental issue. That person is not aware of what want to happen. Let me tell you, even though if the APC have Christian Christian tickets, they will still lose it. We are tired of what does APC have to offer us? Apology. The president apologized to us. He said he knows our pain. Everything he promised us, he has not delivered any. Kidnapping on the high rates. Do you know that to travel by air is cheaper than traveling by land? You want to travel to Abuja by flight, maybe 80,000, 70,000. But when you are traveling by land, 4 million, 20 million to travel by land. That is what APC has brought to us. So this is not a bad Christian Christian ticket or Muslim Muslim ticket. Number one, APC is not even qualified to run in this election. 2023 election, they are not qualified to run on 2023 election. You should see that. We are not even looking at them. We don't even see them as a major contestant. The only people we are seeing, the only person I'm seeing there is show Ray. APC should go and sit down and lie down. So, we the youth, we have a way of voting them out. If we put Peter Obi there, and me, I'm not afraid of Peter Obi. If we put him there, he messed up. Four years is like this now. It will come, we'll kick him out. He has nothing to say. Mm. All his record, his campaign, everything he told us, we have it on record. I'm not supporting Peter Obi because of what I want to benefit, because he want to give me money or whatsoever. My money has entered. My team uh, members' money has entered. My team in abroad, their money has entered. So if we are waiting for money, we don't use our money to do certain things we are doing. So if he's not ready to work, four years we see you, Peter B, you have no story to tell us. Get out. We'll look for the next person. All right, there are many convictions towards the next election and the next government to come. Right now, we we'll have to wrap up quickly. But what do you think, or how do you think the 2020 elections will go? It's going to be one of the elections that will go down in history, breaking records, protocols, what PDP and APC have never seen since they started their political career is about to be seen in 2023. And it's going to be a shock to every man who have eyes that is breathing. Well, that seems a lot. And personally, what I will have to say is it's not just about you sitting at home, talking about different candidates, and you more like being the judge about how this election will go. You registered for your PVC. Ensure you go to these places where you register to get your PVC. Your vote actually counts. That's what I will have to tell you. And I'm still been here on Ophir. Once again, it is amazing to have you join us on the show, Apostle. My pleasure. We wish to have you on the show again if you indulge us. No, I, I, I've always been here. No, of course. <laughs> so this is not my first time. <laughs> oh, it's not the first time. So thank you so much once again, Apostle. My pleasure. And I'm still been here on Ophir. You can join the conversation across our social media platforms on YouTube Instagram and Facebook, we have your TV Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.